Hello everyone, it's Jenneth here of Secret Place Devotion and I welcome you warmly to day 38 with me in the Secret Garden. It's been quite a while since I did my last video in the Secret Garden and so I'm so happy to be here again with you today. And we just lift up this time to the Lord as we spend time together settling ourselves in His presence and welcoming his love. You are the beloved of God. Take a pause between the breaths of today. You cannot carry the world on your shoulders. Maybe you are feeling sickly or weak. Perhaps you are tired of trying to make sense of everything. Today is a day for allowing yourself to be loved. Today is a good day to practice a pause. Listen to the music playing in the inner courtyard of your secret garden, surrounded by protective ferny walls. The fountain of grace spills over generously to provide for your every need. Step into the shallows of water bubbling up from the purest spring deep beneath the earth. The reviving presence of Holy Spirit melts away the burden of carrying things that feel too heavy. Grace is filling your spirit, the temple of your entire being. You can take a breath and find a seat in the courtyard, allowing the presence of Jesus to minister to your heart. The warmth of the sun sparkles through the running fountain, washing your tears away. The fragrance of jasmine rests on the air. And none of the creatures living here is worried in any way. They are all looked after. And you will be too. Gratitude rises when you remember that you don't have to be in charge of the bigger picture. How about breathing through everything today? not needing to achieve perfection, but observing the silence between movements, not needing to be always active, but finding the meaning in rest. The prayer activation for today is to think of the day that has passed by. What stands out to you from the day? This can be thought of as a daily examine, how is God speaking to you through the events that have happened? What would you prefer to have turned out differently? What do you give thanks for? Notice how God has moved within the rhythms of your day and anticipate what tomorrow may bring. Release these thoughts and feelings to God in prayer. The quote for today is of St. John Baptiste de La Salle. Do not have any anxiety about the future. Leave everything in God's hands, for he will take care of you. A poem that goes so beautifully with this reading today is in this book of devotions, one of my favorite books of poetry, especially considering we've just celebrated Mary Oliver's birthday and this poem is called thirst another morning and i wake with thirst for the goodness i do not have i walk out to the pond and all the way god has given us such beautiful lessons oh lord i was never a quick scholar but sulked and hunched over my books past the hour and the bell grant me in your mercy a little more time. Love for the earth and love for you are having such a long conversation in my heart. Who knows what will finally happen or where I will be sent? Yet already I have given a great many things away, expecting to be told to pack nothing except the prayers which, with this thirst, I am slowly learning. A beautiful reflection on thirst and it tags together with this book by Margaret Silf 
It's called Landmarks, an Ignatian Journey. And I will place links to all the books I'm reading from today in the description box below. The passage I'm going to read to you from this beautiful book, I highly recommend this book. I've started going into this book, An Ignatian Journey, um, and it has, it has such beautiful illustrations that go together with the reflections. And this reflection is called Stay Close to the Spring. While you listen to this reflection, I'm going to take you for a little walk through our spring garden. When I think of my own need and my desire to stay close to God, I am reminded of a holiday visiting friends in the Czech Republic. We had spent a few days in Prague, where amid blistering heat the mains water supply had failed. No amount of hopeful lingering over the men down the holes outside in the street had brought any enlightenment as to when there might be water again, and our hostess struggled to keep things going as best she could, by using the reserve bottles of water she had kept for watering her window boxes. It was two days before matters returned to normal. Soon afterwards we moved on to a remote village in the Bohemian Mountains, whose only water supply was a communal spring. It was a joy to pick up the empty buckets and make my way on sandaled feet through the meadow down to the spring. The water bubbled up, full of a life of its own. I would place the bucket under its flow and stand back. No need for more than that. The water did the rest. It took a few minutes for the bucket to fill up. A few minutes of simply watching and waiting. It felt like prayer, simply bringing my empty bucket to the source of life and asking to be filled. It was suddenly obvious to me why human beings instinctively make their homes as close as possible to the water supply. And even as I was thinking these thoughts, my prayer seemed to form itself into the words, stay close to the spring. Not reproachful or commanding words, but those of a cherished friend imparting wisdom. Later I asked our host whether the spring ever ran dry. Only once in living memory, he replied, and then very briefly. And I remembered the day in Prague when the main supply had failed and left us sweltering and waterless in the burning city heat. All the paraphernalia of main systems and pipes and taps felt like the complications I placed between me and God. And the more complications there are, the more distant I become from him and the more unreliable are my inner resources. I fell asleep that night with the words from my prayer murmuring through the rafters of the old farmstead. Stay close to the spring. That was several years ago, but the words became an icon for me to which I often return when my heart is thirsty. You may find, if you explore the experience of imaginative prayer, that the encounters with the Lord that your prayer unfolds to you will stay with you forever, a gallery of vivid memories which will return to you again and again with ever deeper meanings for your life until you feel you really do know Jesus as a friend. Yet there will always be a mystery in your knowing. He will always take you by surprise as in any really significant human experience of intimacy, the relationship is not yours to control. Expect to be surprised and let God do the rest. To be close to the Lord in his human living through prayer in this way is to be close to the spring. It clears the obstructions and turns our man-made complications into God's own simplicity. It can be trusted like the spring and like the spring it runs pure and free. How important it is for us to stay close to the spring and keep drinking of the living water that the Holy Spirit provides for us, especially when we feel the burden of the complications that grow perhaps between us and God, the misunderstandings from, from our side of how things are working out in life or not working out. And during worship yesterday at church, I had such a beautiful 
picture come to mind of all of the things that haven't yet happened in my life, all of the dreams that haven't yet happened to us. So the things that we still really long for that haven't materialized and of it being like coats um, that are preventing us from being able to have that open communion with the Lord and need to be peeled off of our lives. I saw myself taking off this jacket and laying it aside and feeling an open communion with myself and the Lord with that burden of unmet dreams being laid aside. What for you is an unmet dream? It could be a family member you've been praying for for a long time or a health diagnosis that hasn't been healed or a dream to travel or meet someone special. There are so many different possible ways we can dream and long for things in life, things that we pray for many years for that haven't as yet happened. And so my prayer for today is that we will have a peace at the spring, that we will feel renewed at the source of the spring of living water, the Holy Spirit flowing through our lives in a spirit of truth and worship and just quenching all of our thirsts and our longings with peace in him, even when the prayers haven't been answered and the dreams haven't come true. So I thank you, Lord, for this time with you today. And I pray that we will lay down the burden of the things that are too heavy, the things that haven't happened yet, or the things we've long waited for in prayer that that haven't happened. Lord, I just pray that we'll come back to your spring and truly be refreshed. And I pray for your precious child today that they will just see themselves and imagine themselves at your source of living water and just resting there, drinking there, being completely refreshed. All of the thirsts being calmed in you, Lord, the thirsts that we have in this life. And I thank you for bringing a peace and a calm to each one listening today. And I do thank you for joining me in the secret garden again. And I bless you in the name of the Father and, the, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I look forward to our next time together. In the, in the meantime, be warmly blessed. Goodbye.